Hi friends, it's Sarah from rufflesandrainboots.com. Look at this guy. Would you be surprised you can make this guy in about 16 minutes? And if you'd like to learn how, you know the drill. Just boop, stick around. As always, please give this video a like so I know you're here crafting. So we are going to make this guy out of a couple of Dollar Tree finds, some fleece fabric, and some hot glue. So in order to get started, um, oh, you'll also need a pom-pom or two. I'm using this decorative pillow I got from the Dollar Trees Plus section. My daughter picked it out. She also picked out these little egg lights, a ping pong ball from a pack of six from the Dollar Tree, and then I also have two colors of fleece, white and pink, that sort of matches the pink in this. Just use what you have. Uh, fabric scissors, a glue gun, and a ruler. As I mentioned, a couple pom-poms you may want as well. So I would use a fabric that stretches. We're going, even though there's a tire mark on that, <laughs> we need to put it face up, the pretty side up, and the stretch needs to be horizontal. So the pretty sides are together, okay? Now we're just going to cut it into whatever size ears you want to make. This is a really easy process to make ears. I've shared this in previous videos. I'm gonna do it on the pink so you can see it better. Now you do wanna keep the bottom about an inch apart. Whoops, okay, so we're starting off real strong here, but I promise you this comes together so easy. You could go slower with your hot glue and not make it messy like mine, but I'm just using a detailed tip glue gun here to try and get a mostly straightish line. We're gonna put the right sides together and press hard so that the seam shows through. I don't know why I just put that to the side, but you can wait or you can kind of see the seam right here. It's not even dry yet. I'm just going to go one quarter inch away from the outside edge all the way around, trying to make it, you know, following the hot glue. And basically what's gonna happen is when we turn these things inside out, no, right sides out, they're gonna be little bunny ears. So we do want a little bit that is unsewn to gather at the bottom and use those uh, scraps to stuff other things. So I don't know what just happened right there. <laughs> I was listening to a really good audible book and I got a little wiggly wobbly, but you know what? They come out just fine. So I'm just going to try and fix that with a little more hot glue because hot glue fixes everything. I ran out of glue and thought shaking was gonna be the answer. I don't know. I just think, because Easter comes early this year, whoa, whoa, I just got hot glue everywhere. Anywho, making sure that stretch is horizontal, put the right sides together and press so you can see the seam. If you don't wanna see the seam on things, don't press them together. If you do wanna see the seam, press them together. We're gonna to do the exact same thing. As I mentioned in the beginning, this took me 16 minutes and four seconds to put together. My daughter saw this uh, pillow at the Dollar Tree and said, I want, I want, I want. So sometimes she gets what she wants. Now I'm gonna just make them about the same part, even at the bottom, making sure we have a little bit extra at the bottom that is unglued. So we can set those aside and now move on all we're gonna do here is um, take off the <laughs> take off the tag. <laughs> That's it. We're gonna take off that tag, and like I said, here's it, there's no description on this. It it's an egg pillow. Uh, they did have another color, but I didn't see it because my daughter came running through with this one. Do be careful when you're cutting these off. I am going to speed up certain sections. I did have a nice time playing with it. Uh, had my little ASMR moment here. Okay. Stop it, Sarah. All right, I'm going to be using fleece for the hat. You use whatever you want, but I would make sure it has a little bit of stretch. I'm going to add on one inch down here for a brim, and then I'm just going to guesstimate how much I want. I want a stand-up hat. Well, that means I can't make it too tall, right? I'm gonna make mine 12 inches tall. So in order to get the width, uh, wow, I just hit my camera. Sorry, I have to rearrange my craft room again. I promise a craft room tour is coming. I just have to keep rearranging it for all these lasers. Uh, to get the width, you're just gonna put the hat wherever you want it. And it's gonna be a little up from this, obviously, right? Because we have one uh, inch for our brim. And then we're just gonna add on at least an inch overlap. And don't come at me because I do have the selvage edge on there, but I'm gonna end up using it 
because I don't care. So uh, now I'm going to fold it over so that this measures six inches about, listen, about. This is an easy craft. So yeah, that says six and a quarter, but we're not really going to be too particular. And now um, I'm going to speed this up. Well, maybe I didn't speed this up. Sorry, I made this a while ago and I kind of forgot to voice it over and put it on YouTube because <laughs> that's what my life is like. All right, so this is end up, uh, this piece, I mean, ends up being for mine 12 by 12 when folded over. So it's 12 inches high by 24 inches. And for all the people who say, Sarah is sloppy, look, now it's not. Don't, don't mind that other edge. We'll get that in a minute. But what we want to do is, I'm just showing you it's 12 inches that way, and it's 12-ish inches that way. So 12 by 24. All right, so because that's a pretty side, we want to actually work on the wrong side. So we're going to make a brim. Uh, I made mine, I cut mine one inch, and it's mostly half to three quarters of an inch because, yeah, this is a quick craft, y'all. Don't get too hung up on measurements on these sorts of things. I will say the kids love the bright, bright colors. So that's like three quarters of an inch. Over here, it'll be about an inch. So you see how that's not even? Don't worry about it. Anyway, the kids, it seems they're bringing back Lisa Frank. Let me know in the comment if you know who Lisa Frank is. Because I had every sticker known to man. Do y'all, did you ever have sticker books? We had trapper keepers worth of stickers. All right, so at the bottom here, about two inches from the bottom. Doesn't have to be exact, but you're gonna, oh, it's not working. Okay, there it goes. You're going to make a curved hat about one inch away from the folded edge. About, it's not exact. And then look, you can either glue along that and cut it later, or you can cut it now and use the cast offs for other things. So a lot of uh, people like little arms to be added underneath the hats. And by the way, this entire thing, they can just use the pillow by itself after Easter is done. You pack this little guy away. Speaking of this little guy, we're just gluing right sides together. Wow. Okay, today's not a day that I'm good with the hot glue gun. Listen, I think, do you ever go into your kitchen and cook and then think, Today is not the day. Like today, if I continue cooking, I'm going to lose a digit. Do you ever have those days? Just me? Okay. But I got to tell you today, look at all the hot glue I just got all over my desk. What are you doing? It must have been a really good audible book. I'm just saying. All right. Now, while that dries, you have to let it set. We're going to flip these out. Do not pull those two things apart down there at the bottom. You're just going to pull away at the top and tuck this in. Well, what's going to happen is you're just going to feed it through. Don't pull the two pieces away from each other like that. <laughs> just push them and then you can just wiggle it just a little bit. Let me know if you know that song in the comment section. Okay, so you can see, and now once we have it all turned out, we're going to rub the edges between our fingers. I don't know another way to say this. It will let get a little violent with it, it will lay those seams flat and it'll look a lot more rounded. And look, it's so stiff because you're using two layers of fleece. You can have it stand up or bend without any wire or pipe cleaner. Though you are welcome to put those in there. I am going to speed this up because you just saw that entire process. I told you it took me 16 minutes and four seconds to actually make this thing. All right, so now we're just going to hold the tippy tippy top in our fingers and flip this inside out and you will be left with a very nice rise hat. Pop that top out in the very top. You can see I have two pom-poms over there, but my daughter said, I don't want a pom-pom on the bum. No one's gonna see it, mom. But you, you go ahead and put a pom-pom on the bum if you want. All right, just gonna tuck this in here. Oh, um, I do end up adding a pom-pom to the hat because I thought it was super cute, but I don't add one to the to the back of it. If you do add one to the back of it, I would actually sew it on because I don't think hot glue is going to stick to this. It's just plastic. All right. Now we need to put on the ears. And as you can imagine, we're going to do it the easy way. 
that one's backwards Sarah and there's hot glue all over that okay yeah there you go okay so we're just gonna end up cutting a hole and you may think to yourself are we gonna do it exact and measure everything also no we are not um, we're just gonna pinch it together make sure we don't cut anything other than this right here and then we're gonna just tuck this in <laughs> I told you it was an easy craft are we gonna measure this side absolutely not no nope. mm -mm. Mm -mm. think easy think you need a crafting win because your family messed up the kitchen that you just spent like an hour and a half cleaning that's what this day was I remember it well tell me I'm not alone in that y'all they don't see the things that are right in front of them like just put it away or put it in the dishwasher anywho we're gonna just stick these right and make them sort of evenish uh that one I forgot even look I didn't even get all of it like rolled out hold on I'll show you this one is like it's still tucked in. Mm, good job, Sarah. Okay, so we'll come back to that in just a second. Leave it alone. Now, when you do this, you want to make sure that you um, try and get them a little even, but you want to, instead of putting beads of hot glue so that they're little like rows, we want to take the tip of our hot glue gun and flatten all that glue out. We don't want to press on it. We want it to gently adhere. That one's not even. We want it to gently adhere without giving any hot glue bumpies through the fleece so lightly tap and then leave it alone and it will set on its own I do want to tuck under these edges so it looks a little cleaner if you have felt so originally I had planned on having felt flowers around the head or around the ears I mean but my daughter nixed it and this was for her so she had creative domain I'm just making sure those edges are tucked under and now I'm going to glue this pom-pom this is a Dollar Tree pom-pom they're very large I have 300 of them if you need one let me know I do end up holding this here whilst listening to this audible book for a good bit of time 30 seconds at a minimum and it's on there forever there goes my pen didn't need it anymore anyway as you can imagine now we're going to need a nose of some kind I am using a ping pong ping pong ball from the Dollar Tree because I have had them for a year or more probably two and decided it was very nice you can put paint or blush or a sticker which is what I went and looked for to make this nose a little bit different I also thought about putting whiskers um, but we had to go somewhere so now that that's on which I whoa, which I also held on for 30 seconds and I just sped that up now we just tuck this down. Now, my hat is not glued on because again, my daughter just really liked the pillow and wanted to use it well after Easter. But you can see the hat stands up on its own. You don't need anything in there. Now back to these. Listen, do you want to learn what a frustrating experience it feels like? Just try and unwrap these, the Dollar Tree. I don't know who did this but it was knotted so normally they just take the end and wrap it around but anyway the point is I didn't end up using these because I really didn't like the way there was so much space but if you find them and you like them wrap them around find your happy place this guy boop is mine and guess what that's it for me today quick and easy Dollar Tree DIY hope you liked it please like the video and subscribe for more crafty fun